once YouTube becomes a place that is no longer friendly to uploading social commentary videos, where the amount of eggshells that have to be walked on becomes just too much, and or it becomes virtually impossible for social commentary videos to be found in a search because they've put authoritative sources as the only thing that you can find, which this sort of thing is already happening, and it's just getting worse and worse. I mean, you can go page after page after page and looking for a subject, and all you find is CNN, MSNBC, uh, what, The Guardian, uh, uh, you know, all the authoritative sources. Yeah, that sort of thing has been going on for a while, but it's only getting worse. Yeah, if that gets a lot worse, I mean, the only places at this time that you can upload social commentary videos and actually have an audience and not be censored are on places that are filled with white nationalists. Sure, those platforms don't discriminate, but it also makes them a haven for unfortunate ideologues. Once there are very few people doing social commentary on YouTube, I'll likely lose interest in those types of videos all around particularly since there won't be anyone else's content that can inspire me, and there won't be any videos I can do video responses to. I'll have to find more productive hobbies that I can somehow expand my viewpoints with. Maybe I'll read more. Maybe I'll focus on music more. I mean, if shit hits the fan when it comes to YouTube and it becomes a place that's no longer friendly to make social commentary videos then I'll probably just keep up and continue to upload uh, music videos, walking videos, uh, comedy videos, those sorts of things, and probably delete everything else. Yeah, I've given this sort of thing a lot of thought, especially the past few months, but especially in the past couple weeks, with all this news that's coming out about YouTube and the changes they're making. There was a comment on my last video that suggested that, hey, Kazoom, you're not really saying anything new. This is stuff that's been said by others for at least the past couple years. Now, they did try to suggest that the only reason why I'm saying it is to be popular, and no, I'm, I'm saying it because I really think it needs to be said once in a while, but that's neither here nor there. You know, when I made that video, I, I honestly questioned whether I should release it. I sat on it for a while, and I was thinking, well, well, what's the point in releasing this? But when I saw that comment, it was kind of the straw that broke the camel's back. You know, when it comes to how I view my potential future on the internet, on places, you know, like YouTube, it confirmed so many things that I was already thinking. I mean, really, what am I doing here on YouTube? I'm usually making videos complaining about something. It's almost always something negative. Is that what I want to be remembered by? I mean, it's as if I'm almost always angry. I'm not always angry. But if someone were to just judge me based on my videos, yeah, they, they might think I'm just angry all the time, and I'm not. You know, when it comes to other realistic platforms that aren't going to go away in, a, like, a year or less, you know, ones that actually have a chance of making it, there's sites like Vimeo, Vimeo sure isn't a place to do social commentary. Vimeo is for artsy videos, it's for documentaries, it's for people who want to show off their cinematic skills and equipment, and it's for nudists. They don't have ranting, or people in blogs, or news and politics as categories. They have documentaries as a main category, but the subcategories don't fit people making social commentary videos, you know, where they're just, just regular people looking at a camera. There's narrative as a main category, but the subcategories don't cover news or social commentary or current events or trends. They have personal as a main category, with only cameo and personal stories as subcategories. Yeah, that doesn't fit either. The closest fit is reporting and journalism. 
where they have people in politics as one of the subcategories. The thing is, this may not fit that well either. Considering that what popular social commentators do on YouTube doesn't really fit reporting, and it certainly doesn't fit journalism. And no, I, I don't consider Tim Poole or Jacqueline Glenn or Paul Joseph Watson or Steve Shives or Sargon of Akkad or Stefan Molyneux or V or Kevin Logan or Christy Winters to be journalists. If you try and do a search on Vimeo for any sort of edgy topics, the results do not contain anyone sitting in front of a camera doing social commentary. There are documentaries, there are short films, there are sometimes formal lectures. There's a lot of really well-produced content, but what you don't find are people sitting in front of a camera talking about current events and trends and just doing just general social commentary. You just don't find it. I mean, granted, you also don't find mainstream news in the results either. Mainstream news doesn't use Vimeo. They use YouTube. And more and more so as time goes on. So yeah, Vimeo is not a place to do social commentary. And it's not a place to do viral videos either. I mean, when's the last time you heard of a viral video coming out of Vimeo? So yeah, when YouTube turns to crap for social commentators, I'll probably mostly stop doing social commentary. Mostly. I don't think I'll ever completely stop, but uh, it would be rare. I mean, as I said before, even if I can find social commentary videos to be inspired by or to bounce off of, there's nowhere for me to upload them to that is really to my benefit. I mean, unless I don't care about not having a potential audience, you know, where no one can find the videos, or on a, you know, on a platform like Vimeo, you know, where if I upload them, if I, if I get any sort of following, they're not going to want to watch those because that's not what the platform is for. And there's no point in me uploading to some of the other sites because there are so many white nationalists on them. You know, or unless I find some place that I have to walk on eggshells with, no thanks. It's really no longer worth it at that point. I mean, bluntly, I need to get something out of making these videos. Otherwise, why make them? I don't make social commentary videos for money. I make these videos so I can have discussions with people and maybe learn something. I mean, and that's not the only reason. I mean, there's a cathartic element to it as well. And that might show in some of the angry element to a number of my videos, because I'm getting it out there, right? I mean, if the negatives outweigh the positives in uploading social commentary videos, you know, it's, it's kind of time to move on. Now, we're not there yet, but the way things are looking, I mean, I imagine it'll probably be less than a year for things to turn to shit. But only time will tell. Maybe we have quite a few more years left. You know, I don't want to be all doomsday about it. But it just seems as time goes on, Google seems to be interested in making YouTube competition to Netflix. We'll just have to see, right? Ooh.